So I am officially 36 weeks pregnant. Being 36 weeks pregnant means that I am just this much closer to uh, giving birth. <laughs> So my plan for the last couple of weeks before I give birth, I want to vlog the weeks because I feel like they're gonna be jam-packed with a bunch of pregnancy things, cleaning things, life things, doing things, and sharing things. So this week for 36 weeks, I have my midwife appointment later today. Um, I need to get my blood work done, check my iron levels, make sure they're pretty high up there i've been taking it a lot of iron importance of that is explained by my midwife is that when the placenta detaches from the uterus there's a huge hole there it can lead to hemorrhaging so low iron count it will not stop it as well so i'm trying to uh I'm on my way to Ikea. I am picking up some draws for a pack unit. We've been waiting in like three months for these draws because they are always, always out of stock. And when they come in stock, somehow they just uh, disappear. So fortunately, I was able to find um, a store that actually has the right amount that we need. I'm gonna get some, maybe some organizational things for the baby. I was using these storage cubes to store her uh, clothes and stuff, but I feel like maybe I can find something better and I kind of have an idea and just get like little things um to finish up the nursery so everything is kind of just complete three hours later we're doing a quick ikea haul before i put everything away this little compartment thing it's called the stucks and I'm gonna use this to organize like her lotions and, and diaper creams and stuff like that. I got these blackout curtains for the baby's room to black it out when she's sleeping. Then I also got these white sheer curtains to make it look cute. I got this picture ledge thing, but I'm gonna use this to put like her books and stuff next to the radiator. And I think that's gonna look really nice. I like the natural wood, that's the theme I'm going for. I bought this bowl because I'm having a home birth. So it's gonna be the placenta bowl. After the baby's out and I push out the placenta, this is where I am storing it temporarily. I also got these two storage bin things. They come with lids and I'm gonna put this in our PAX unit in our bedroom. I got these two little vases and I'm gonna put um, a pothos plant that kind of like hangs down and can grow. The only pink thing in this room. <laughs> then I also got this covers. They were $3.99 and they were super cheap. So I was like, all right, let me just get them. And then lastly, my favorite things in the whole entire world, storage containers. I'm going to insert a picture of how it looks. And I think they're the best because we have a PAX unit. It fits there perfectly. It's out of the way. And I feel like they're better than the boxes. So then I also got a smaller one. And this is going to be in our bedroom. And I'm going to store like bed sheets and stuff like that. It'll be easy. And then I also got one more thing. But we got to walk there. This basket. This basket was on sale for $20 and it's literally to store our blankets because I did not want the blankets on the sofa. Temporary spa, thinking of putting it over there, but we'll see. of us just pretty much fully organizing this baby room and i must say that this baby room is is it organized fully is there some stuff i mean there's like little things i still have to do like i have to still wash like the cloth diapers i'm still getting in stuff from the registry I still have to wash like the crib bed sheets and stuff like that but majority of like the organization and whatnot for the shelving for the drawers it's ready to go including the birth cart as well i don't know if i mentioned this unless i'm just like repeating myself 
in every single clip, which I, <laughs> I apologize, but I am having a home birth. It's gonna be in the baby's room. We'll see. It depends on the day, anything can happen. Baby room is where I want her to start her life. I'm also gonna show you guys the birth cart for my midwife, things I had to order, and just everything that will be there for the day of the birth. I'm not going to a hospital, so when you're doing a home birth, the majority of these things um, you have to get yourself. I'm also gonna show you guys the pool because we got a pool. I'm gonna do a full like nursery tour once it's like complete. Let me show you. Okay, pretty much when you walk in, this is what you see. This is like the highlight of the room for me. I've been wanting to get a radiator cover done for months. Finally, a grandpa has created it. He has built this all by himself and I think it looks absolutely marvelous. Excuse the, the belly. My pants don't fit anymore. This is her pool. This is not a home birth pool. Those things cost like $300. So I got off this pool off of Amazon for like $40. The birth pool that's $300 is about 24 inches like deep when you sit in. This one is 20. I'm just thinking in my math, I was doing some quick calculations. I think this is good for my height. So, can you like imagine? Like, I can't even imagine myself. I'm gonna be here, and it's gonna be like, ah, it's gonna be like, ah, push, push. And uh, yeah, no, I think this is this is great success. We're gonna move on to my birth cart. So this is from IKEA. This cart, and I was gonna use it for postpartum stuff and like my breast pump, so I could like lug it around. This is what it's gonna be for the day of birth. Here is med chucks, and these are hospital grade medical chucks. So if you go to the hospital, this is the stuff that they gave you. Now, what they require is like puppy wee wee pads, which I also have now for the birth kit. This was required for me to get. It's pretty much alcohol pads, this, uh, this baby thing. I'm assuming they take out the liquid, the blood from their mouth, from their nose using this. This iodine scrub. I don't know what this is for, but it was part of the required things that I need for the birth kit. In this little baggie, we have the umbilical cord clamp. We also got some lubricating jelly. And now in this bag, this bag is pretty much my IV starter kit if it's needed. There's also a syringe that I had to get, gloves, sterile gloves, some gauze, that's about it for the things I needed to buy that was required for the birth kit for the midwife to use on me. Some other things that she needed was toilet paper in here, hydrogen peroxide. Up here, it's pretty much stuff that's for me and the baby. So paper towels for cleanup, baby wipes, this one's for me, this one's for the baby, baby diapers, two different sizes cloth, cute little onesies and clothing, coconut oil. This is to rub off that white stuff. I think it's called vernic off of the baby eventually. Now this is after ease. It's supposed to help with contractions after labor. I'm going to try it. We will see. <laughs> I got these like terry cloth towels that they will be using clean me up after. It's very, very soft. They can also use it on the baby. I just didn't want to use regular towels because ouch. <sighs> and then paper towel and then also Clorox wipes because blood. Finally, this is pretty much my packet full of important documents, birth certificate and stuff like that, just in case uh, I need it. Pretty much my birth kit. And it's crazy because when I was putting this together, I was like, oh my God, there's so much stuff. But then I finally did it and it's like, oh, it's not that much. <laughs> Some other things that are necessary for a home birth. So here I just have in this thing, I have extra chuck, a sump pump, a pool hose, the tarp and liner for the floor and a placenta bowl. Because we have a pool, we needed a hose from our shower to run the water to our pool. A sump pump, take out all of the water and it's gonna go straight into the toilet. We are using just a heavy duty tarp for the floor. After you give birth, you're not done. You still have to deliver the placenta. So when you're in the hospital and you deliver the placenta, they obviously have a bowl and stuff for you to 
put in there in there but mostly they don't uh they cut the cord of the baby before all of the nutrients from the placenta has been delivered so here in order for me to go let's say I, I give birth in the pool in order for me to go to my bedroom to lay down with the baby and the placenta I needed a stainless steel bowl so I got this one from Ikea my placenta is going to be hanging out in this thing. So I had a bunch of these cubes and that's where I stored all of her clothes. I then decided I'm gonna get this, which I already had one. And this is where I stored my Docta. So I got another one and I put all of her big girl clothes from like 12 months on into that thing and it fits and it just looks so much cleaner. Here I have my breast pump and stuff that I need to sterilize. Baby shoes, empty. This is her toy slash book basket. I have the diaper caddy, which is gonna go in the car. And then I have the diaper bag, which is gonna go in the stroller. The Artie Pepe carrier. These two are empty right now. I feel like this is a lot better and less makes me feel good. <laughs> Pretty much it of organizing the baby's room. There's still some stuff I'm gonna show you, but I'm gonna show you in ne next week's vlog. Clean the cloth diapers and just like some of the stuff that we got from our Amazon baby registry list. Yeah, that's it for now. Yeah, bring poop. Feels like her head is down. Her back is like right here. Here is her tush. 35. Beautiful. Yay. Oh wow, that was quick. Yeah. Good morning. So it is obviously a new day. Whew, I'm out of breath and I'm chilling in my Mr. Comfy. Found a crib that I wanted from Ikea. It's never in stock I'm on Facebook Marketplace and they also included a mattress and this mattress is sort of like the Newton mattress. It's called Naturepedic. It's breathable. It's waterproof. Um, so they're including the mattress and the crib for $50. So it's an hour trip to get there and we're going to get a crib and a mattress for $50. Like you can't beat that deal right and then kind of just enjoy the rest of the day <laughs> before I got pregnant to like the pandemic and stuff like my social anxiety like was pretty high so now that I'm pregnant my social anxiety I've been working on it I've been doing breathing and laughing yoga to kind of like calm the nervous system down and whatnot and it's been super 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 helpful but every time I go to like a store my energy is just drained. A trick that I do now is I put in my AirPods and I put on a song that I really really like and I just replay that song till I leave the store. That definitely has helped me like relax more and just be aware of how I'm feeling. <laughs> we just picked up the crib. It is back there broken down with the mattress we'll see how it goes i'm gonna like diy it to make it like into a, like a floor bed because that's what i kind of wanted but for 50 dollars, you can't go wrong and then we also went to trader joe's and i just picked up some snacks these are like my favorite things to like grab and go the trader joe's in the city near are absolutely ridiculous and they cause me stress and i just don't want to go to the grocery store but uh the one here is super chill not a lot of people and it's stocked up so i'm just waiting for my dad and we're gonna make our way home yeah and don't we have a companion we have a little companion here with us yeah three hours later yet again we're back in this automobile it feels like i have been living in this car the past two days that's how much i've been in this car <laughs> One of my goals for 2023 is to increase our finances, increase our income. Many ways that I could have done this. I kind of like broke it down with my hubby to see which way would be the best way because we want to align what we do with our lifestyle. One of the options was going to nursing school or going back to nursing school because I was in the process of going to nursing school. I just decided I don't want to be related. I don't want to be in the nursing field, especially after COVID. Nursing is a great field because it guarantees you a paycheck. This paycheck is a very nice paycheck and you can work pretty much anywhere. The next option was to get a four-year degree and just kind of do whatever within the job I have now and kind of just like move up the ranks and then we did some calculations of how long it, it's gonna take and we're like okay let's skip that we have been dabbling in real, real estate I have decided that what I'm gonna do is really give 2023 commit 
to real estate in 2023. I, I can make like a whole video about this. Now that we have a kid involved, like I'm thinking about homeschooling. I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking about everything. And my current job will not provide enough income to cover the lifestyle of having more freedom than we would like. So right now I am driving to a certain area in New York and basically what I do is I drive around and I look at homes that are ugly, like shingles are coming apart, there's tall grass, the house doesn't look taken care of, um, and I also see if area is an area where flippers and, or home buyers like to go and flip and make the houses pretty. And basically I have an app and I just jot down the addresses of these homes and then I just give them a call. And I literally just ask, hey, are you interested in hearing an offer for your house or do you want to sell your house? I started doing this in the beginning of December and I've been quite consistent with doing this. I am absolutely petrified every time I call people. This is part of building my skill set. So it's a completely different skill set than from what I currently do in my job or from what I am quote unquote good at. It's nerve wracking but at the same time it's exciting because I have friends that are in this industry and I see what they do. give you an idea of the homes that I'm looking for so that home that you see right now um, that home is technically considered condemned and there's like a whole process of trying to uncondemn <laughs> condemn it if it's even possible pretty much condemned means that that house is unsafe to live in those kind of houses are what I am looking for when I am driving around neighborhoods those houses are the ones that take extra effort. They will also make you money. <laughs> Pretty much just homes that need work. People who are possibly tired of just being a homeowner or a landlord, they're the ones that are typically more likely to sell. And again, nothing is forced. If they want to sell, cool. If they don't want to sell, cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's so pretty! It's so pretty! Oh, uh, this one's already making herself right at home. Wow, you look like a dad. That's the wheels. Wow. Brolic. Wow. It's a car. These bars? Clip in all the way. Mm-hmm. Now you're good. Okay? Okay. This is all washable. You could unzip her. And now put the baby. Wow! So cute! Oh, there's a thing that has to cover the sun. Wow! Wow! Look at this t-shirt! Hello, so we are back in the same spot that you saw me yesterday morning and today pretty much what I'm doing is writing thank you cards to everyone who bought um, the baby girl. The baby girl, some gifts. I want to kind of get this over with. I'm also attaching 
20 week ultrasound um in the card just check this off my to-do list so you don't have to worry about it and these cards are so cute so it's thank you very much and it's pretty much a blank card in here and then here's another one here's another one and then i think this one and this one i got them off of amazon i'm gonna link them down below if you guys want to get these <laughs> 